All right, folks, let's rewind to 1967, a time when rock and roll was the loudest thing in town, and Chevy decided, hey, we can be louder. Enter the Chevrolet Camaro. They didn't exactly whisper this one into the market. Nope, they dropped it in like a rock star, aiming it straight at the Ford Mustang. Yes, Mustang, the rival who thought they owned the show. Spoiler alert, Chevy said, think again. So, what made this Camaro such a hit? Let's start under the hood. First-gen Camaro gave us some wild options, from the humble inline-six to the beastly 5.7 V8. This car didn't just move, it practically growled. Imagine cruising in one of these babies with a V8. It's like having a mini earthquake in your garage. No one was sleeping on your block, and oh, the handling. Camaro had this incredible rear-wheel drive that, let's be honest, loved to slide. Yep, a muscle car handshake, if you will. Sure, it wasn't the safest on a rainy day, but back then, safety was more of a suggestion, right? Not to mention, this was one of the few cars where the optional extras could include a massive spoiler on the back. Did it add speed? Not really. Did it add style? Absolutely. Because back then it was all about looking fast, even if you were, well, sitting in traffic. And here's a fun one. The Camaro RS model had hidden headlights. Yep, they'd pop out of nowhere, like your nosy neighbor. So if you saw a Camaro at night and the lights just popped open, it wasn't giving you attitude. Well, maybe it was, but that's what made it cool. So there you have it, the first generation Camaro, a car that didn't just join the muscle car club. It came in with a mic drop, fast engines, flashy style, and all the attitude of the 60s wrapped in one mean machine. And remember folks, in a Camaro, you're not just driving, you're making an entrance. The year is 1970 and Chevy's back at it with a bigger, bolder Camaro, the second generation. Gone were the sharper edges and compact body of the 60s. Chevy thought, hey, let's go all out. So they made this Camaro wider, lower, and with curves that could practically hug the road. Imagine a muscle car that got a 70s glow up. If the first gen Camaro was rock and roll, this one was pure disco swagger. Under the hood? Oh, they didn't hold back. The top choice was a brutal 7.4 liter V8 engine. Yeah, you heard right, 7.4 liters. That's like strapping a mini volcano to your car. Let's just say if you had one of these, you probably spent as much time filling the tank as you did driving. But hey, gas was cheap back then, right? And let's talk about the styling. The Camaro got a complete makeover, now looking like it was flexing even while standing still. Those swooping fenders and that sinister split bumper on the RS model, chef's kiss. It was like, I may have a face that means business, but I've got a body that loves to party. And that's exactly how it felt to drive one. Oh, and safety features? Well, it was the 70s, so um, there were seat belts sometimes. Let's just say this Camaro was built for thrill seekers. Forget airbags. Back then, the real shock absorption was hang on tight and hope for the best. Of course, this Camaro wasn't all muscle. They threw in some tech too, 70s style. They added better suspension, which was basically code for, you can actually turn corners now. And they even offered air conditioning as an option. I mean, who doesn't want to stay cool while burning rubber? So there you have it, the second gen Camaro. It was a car that screamed, go big or go home. Bigger engine, bolder design, and more attitude than a disco ball at midnight. If you were behind the wheel of one of these, you weren't just driving, you were making a statement. And that statement? I'm here, I'm loud, and I'm not slowing down. Get ready, because we're diving into the 1980s, where style was bold, music was loud, and Chevy introduced the third-generation Camaro, a total departure from the past. Gone were the days of bulky, high-fuel cars. Instead, Chevy said, let's go sleeker, lighter, and a whole lot faster. Under the hood, this Camaro had some serious updates. Say hello to the soft 5.7 liter V8 engine in the IROC Z model. Yes, that's right. The same IROC Z that made you feel like a race car driver just by saying the name. This V8 had 225 horsepower. Maybe it doesn't sound like a lot today, but back then that was enough to make your hair blow back inside the car. This Camaro wasn't just about raw power. It was about precision engineering. They added fuel injection, which was the automotive equivalent of trading in your typewriter for a computer. Smooth, efficient, and quicker to respond. This wasn't your dad's muscle car anymore. And let's talk suspension. Chevy didn't just slap a big engine in and call it a day. Nope, 
they refined the suspension so much that this Camaro could actually handle corners. It had coil springs up front and a torque arm rear suspension, which in car talk meant you could zip around curves without feeling like you were wrestling a bear. But the engineering didn't stop there. They introduced an aerodynamic design. The windshield was sloped back at a dramatic angle. Chevy was like, why not let the wind work for us instead of against us? Result, less drag, more speed, and a Camaro that looked fast even when parked. And with those T-tops, you could pop them off, let the breeze in, and feel like the king of the road. Or at least, the king of your block. Now, safety. Let's just say Chevy was catching up with the times here too. For the first time, we saw disc brakes all around on the IROC Z. Because, let's be honest, with all that speed, you needed a way to stop. It was like Chevy saying, don't worry, we've got this. So there you have it, the third gen Camaro, a leaner, smarter, and just as mean machine. It was more than just muscle, it was Chevy proving they could keep up with the future. And if you got behind the wheel, you weren't just driving, you were making a statement that you were living in the now. All right, buckle up because we're heading into the 90s with the fourth generation Camaro. Chevy took all that 80s charm, threw on some sleek curves, and packed in enough power to blow your socks off. This wasn't just a Camaro, it was a Camaro on a whole new level. First up, let's talk engines. Chevy decided to go all in with the 5.7 eater LT1 V8 straight out of the Corvette. That's right. They took a Corvette engine, popped it in the Camaro, and said, let's give everyone a shot at feeling like they're on a racetrack. With 275 horsepower, this Camaro wasn't just fast, it was blazing. Step on the gas and you felt like you'd just been launched into another dimension. And with the later LS1 V8 upgrade pushing over 300 horsepower? Well, let's just say you had to hold on to your hat. But this generation wasn't all brawn. It had brains too. The engineers decided to drop the weight and improve the aerodynamics, making this Camaro slice through the air smoother than a hot knife through butter. The windshield was sloped back at an intense angle, giving it a futuristic, almost spaceship-like vibe. So, if you wanted to look like you were flying even when parked, mission accomplished. And, oh, let's not forget about the suspension upgrades. The engineers thought, hey, if it's going to be fast, it better handle like a dream. So they gave it a fully independent front suspension and a performance-tuned rear end, meaning this Camaro could take turns without breaking a sweat. It wasn't just about straight-line speed anymore. It was about agility. This Camaro could handle curves like it was reading your mind. For the interior, Chevy threw in driver-focused controls and even made it comfy with seats that hugged you just right. Because let's face it, if you're driving a Camaro, you're definitely spending a lot of time behind the wheel. So, there you have it. The fourth gen Camaro, a car that didn't just roar, it purred, handled, and dominated. It wasn't just a car, it was a statement. And if you were lucky enough to own one, you weren't just driving, you were on a mission. A mission to turn every head on the road. They brought it back, the Camaro, reborn in the 21st century with the fifth generation. This wasn't just a redesign. It was like Chevy looked at the Camaro's legacy and thought, let's take all that muscle car history, throw in some modern flair, and crank it up to 11. First up, the engine. They gave us options. But the real showstopper? The 6.2 liter LS3 V8 in the SS model, pumping out a wild 426 horsepower. Yeah, that's right, 426. Just a tap on the gas, and suddenly you're launching forward like a rocket. This Camaro was like having a snarling beast under the hood, waiting to be unleashed. You wanted power? Chevy delivered. And the engineering? Oh, they didn't just rely on brute strength. They equipped this baby with magnetic ride control in the ZL1 version. That's right, we're talking magnetic shocks that adjust to the road in real time. It was like the Camaro knew what the pavement was doing before it even touched it. Smooth, responsive, and ready to corner like a champ. Then there's the design, those aggressive lines, the wide stance, the sleek retro-inspired body. It looked like it was going 100 mile per hour just sitting there. And those headlights, peeking out with that don't mess with me glare. They weren't just lights, they were statements. Chevy knew they had to bring the Camaro back with style and they didn't disappoint. Inside, 
They didn't just slap on a basic interior, they gave it retro gauges that felt straight out of the 60s, paired with modern tech like a heads-up display. It was a muscle car with luxury touches, but not too fancy. Just the right mix of grit and glam. And let's not forget the ZL1's supercharged engine that pushed over 580 horsepower. Yes, you heard me. 580 horses. That's like unleashing a stampede on the highway. This Camaro wasn't just flexing, it was setting records and leaving its mark on the road. So there you have it. The fifth gen Camaro, a car that took its heritage, supercharged it and came roaring back into the spotlight. It wasn't just a comeback, it was a showdown. Because with this Camaro, you weren't just driving, you were making history. The sixth gen Camaro didn't just arrive, it stormed onto the scene. This wasn't just another Camaro, it was the leanest, meanest machine Chevy had ever crafted. Chevy engineers took the rule book, crumpled it up, and threw it out the window. They built a Camaro that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Europe's finest, yet still roar with all-American muscle. Let's talk engines. The top choice? Oh, just the 6.2 LT1 V8 engine, packing an insane 455 horsepower. That's 455 American stallions ready to unleash. You tap that gas pedal, and suddenly, you're catapulted down the road. And that sound? Pure thunder. It wasn't just an engine, it was a symphony of power and fury. And for those brave enough, there was the supercharged LT4 V8 in the ZL1 model. Yes, supercharged. We're talking 650 horsepower, more horses than an entire cavalry. You step on it, and this car doesn't just move, it erupts. And that's not all. Chevy didn't just stick a big engine in a pretty frame. They put the Camaro on a diet, making it lighter and more aerodynamic. They used aluminum, lighter steel, and even some fancy carbon fiber parts in the ZL1 model. This wasn't just a muscle car anymore, it was a precision instrument. Chevy knew it couldn't just be about raw power, it had to handle like a dream too. So they gave it a near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution. What does that mean? It means this, this Camaro could slice through corners like a hot knife through butter. And then the tech. Oh, they went all out. Magnetic ride control, just like in the 5th gen ZL1, but tuned to perfection. This car reads the road a thousand times per second, adjusting the suspension instantly. It's like the Camaro knows the road better than you do, and with launch control, you could go from zero to gone in a heartbeat. Track modes, performance data recorders, you name it, this Camaro had it. But wait, let's talk about looks. They crafted this sixth gen Camaro with aggressive aerodynamic lines that look like they could cut through steel. The front end was practically snarling with those sleek LED headlights and a lower stance that made it look ready to pounce. And those quad exhaust tips? They weren't just for show, they were ready to breathe fire down the freeway. Inside, they went high tech without losing that Camaro soul. They packed in a digital cockpit, climate control, and even a heads-up display. And yet Chevy kept it focused on the driver. Everything you needed was just a flick or a touch away. You could cruise in comfort or feel like you're in a jet fighter. It's a Camaro that lets you have it all. So what's the sixth gen Camaro? It's not just a car. It's a statement. It says, I'm here to own the road, to take on any curve, to challenge any rival. And for anyone lucky enough to get behind the wheel, it's more than a ride, it's an experience. And that, my friends, is the Camaro. An icon, a powerhouse, a legend. And with the sixth generation, it's better than ever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the road.